Live stream shopping. Is it a thing or is it not a thing? Like TikTok is shutting red stores, Amazon's investing in it. Let's find out. So this is kind of funny. Amazon pins hope on influencers to crack live stream shopping market. This came out a week ago. E-commerce giant has been increasing its investment in Amazon Live as it fights to grab a slice of the growing market. Literally like a day before, TikTok abandons e-commerce expansion in Europe and the US. Live streaming shopping has struggled to gain traction for TikTok. The Chinese-owned company's venture called TikTok Shop allows brands and influencers to broadcast live and sell products through a clickable orange basket. This has done very well in Asia and China. Uh, live stream shopping is a huge, huge thing over there. But the expansion plans have been dropped um, after they did a trial in the UK, which failed to meet targets and influencers, influencers dropped out of the program. The market just isn't there yet, a TikTok employee said. General consumer awareness and adoption are still low and nascent. Which is interesting because then two days later, another article, also some from the Financial Times, says, yeah, Amazon's making a big push. So in China, sales generated through live streams are projected to surpass $400 billion, which is about 15% of all e-commerce sales in China, up from 3.5% just three years ago in China, right? Wow. Definitely a huge boost from COVID. You can see the leap here in uh, 2019, 3.5%, 2020. 7.5%, 2021, 11.3%, and, and projected 15% uh, for 2022. These are China numbers. Wayne Perbo, the executive responsible for Amazon Live, so take this one with a grain of salt, said he believes live stream shopping is the future of retail. Well, you better believe that because that's your job, Wayne. So it actually looks like Facebook Live is the leader of live stream shopping in the U.S., uh, they did a poll here of 500 U.S. respondents who have watched a shoppable live stream and, you know, where, what platform did they use to do that? Facebook had 50% of the 500, you know, they could have used multiple platforms, but 50% of the 500 said they used Facebook, 40% said they'd used YouTube and Amazon, a little over 30% Instagram, TikTok, sub 30%. And then actually at the bottom is like 25% QVC. So QVC missing the ball on this is is a perfect example of of uh, you know the incumbent trying to do it all themselves as opposed to you know partnering um, with other tech startups that are out there. QVC is owned by the holding companies called Qrate. They've been trying to make changes. Uh, they've got a relatively new CEO from August 2021. He just did an executive reshuffling in uh, Q1 of 2022. So they're trying to make changes here. See, the challenge is these other, the other online live streaming competitors, it's a platform business model, are doing more than just live stream shopping, right? I mean, go back and look at this list. It's Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, Instagram, and TikTok. You've been going to those websites for things other than let me watch a live stream video to buy stuff, right? QVC was the same thing, right? QVC was a TV channel, still is, amongst a bunch of other channels on TV. You go to, you watch TV and you watch a whole bunch of other channels on TV, right? Now QVC is trying to say, hey, we want to be that online destination for live stream shopping. But to me, what they're missing is other complementary reasons and stickiness to draw users in, right? That would allow them to have like these, these different network effects that overlap with each other, right? Where you, you know, there are other business models and other products or services or offerings, or content platform reasons. Could QVC engage in partnerships with other tech startups, other types of platform businesses, and um, start to build kind of this broader network of uh, collaboration versus it all having to be at QVC. And if it is all having to be at QVC.com, um, then you have to start buying other complementary businesses that broaden the value prop, right? Because that's actually what made QVC successful on TV. It wasn't just that I'm going to go, right? It was one of the things you could do on TV and you watch some QVC, you go watch some other stuff, right? You have your power users on QVC buying stuff on TV and that's all they do. But then you look at the 
you know, the middle of the tail and the long tail. And you got some people that are watching it, but then watching a movie or going flicking the commercial and this and that, right? Even with TikTok and all the ammunition and existing demand that TikTok has going for this, they're, they're still shuttering TikTok Live. You need to have a more holistic offering if you've got any chance of competing with these tech monopolies. If you like this video, go check out our older videos on live stream shopping. I think we've actually talked about Q-Rate and the platform opportunities uh, in live stream shopping before. And we've also talked about what's going on in China before. So go check out those videos.